So you all know uh, what the area of a triangle is. You've probably been doing that since elementary school. You have a triangle and you have the base length and you have the perpendicular height, right? And the area of a triangle is always a half base times height. Okay, now there's actually a trigonometric version of this as well. Let's do uh, Sokotoa in this triangle here. What's sine C? Sine C is opposite over hypotenuse, H over. And what's his length here? That is going to be uh, side length A, isn't it? A, so H equals A sine C. And what I'm going to do is put A sine C in for H. And what happens if I do that? I'm going to get a half times B times, and H is A sine C. And that gives me this expression. The area of a triangle is a half A, B sine C. Okay, or a half times A times B times sine C. And what do we mean by that? Well, we've got a half and we've got the side length A and B. So we've got side A, side B, times the sine of the angle uh, that creates those two sides. So you just got to remember it this way. If you want to find the uh, area of a triangle, it's always a half times one of the side lengths times another side length times the sine of the angle between them. Okay, so it's always got to be that included angle. So there are two other versions of this. So you could do it with the angle C, you could do it with the angle A. That would be a half B C sine A. And that could also be a half B here, uh, A C sine B. It's not worth memorizing these. The best way to remember this formula is just what I said before. You need two side lengths. So you've got, say you've got this side and this side is a half times one of the side lengths, times the other side length, times sine of the angle between those two sides. Okay, that's the best way to remember the formula. And let's do an example. Find the area of this triangle, a half AB sine C. So do we have two side lengths? Yes, we do, 21 and 16. So we have our side B and we have the side C. And we need the angle between them. So angle A, oh no, we don't have it. How are we gonna get angle A? Well, you've got to use uh, the sine rule and figure that out. Uh, no, we can, maybe we could find this angle here. That, that would help. Ah, that's going to be it, I think. So let's do. So we're going to find a missing angle here. So let's do sine C over side C equals sine B over side B. And let's put these in. Sine C. Don't know C. That's what we're looking for. Side C. 16 equals sine b, sine 74 degrees, over side b, 21. There we go, and we're going to get rid of 16. Do that to both sides. And we get cancelled. 16 cancels with 16, leaving us with sine c equals 16 sine 74 degrees all over 21. All right, go to your calculator and figure out what is angle C. So it's going to be the inverse sine of all this mess here. And if you go ahead and do that, pause me, try and get the answer before me. The answer is the angle C is 47.1 degrees. I think you've done that right. So we now have angle C, 47.1 degrees. Does that help? Well, we have two angles now. So angle A is just going to be 180 minus 74, minus 47.1 degrees. Doing that, angle A is 58.9 degrees. So we now have angle A. So are we ready to find the area? Do we have the situation where we have two sides and the angle between them? I think we do. So we've got a side 16, a side 21, and the angle that makes those two sides. Yes, we do. So we could just jump straight and do that area equals you don't have to quote a formula here, you could just go ahead and write that out. A half times the two sides, 21 times 16, times sine of the angle between them, 58.9. Answer is 143.9. Make sure your calculator is in the correct mode. Remember, this is an area, okay? We don't have any units here, but you could just write units squared if you like. So that is how you find the area of a triangle using trigonometry.